Set to provide liaison to the first region net that meets on 39.48 kilohertz at 13.45 p.m. local time. This is a directed net. Please do not break the net unless you have emergency or priority traffic. And please do not leave the net without first informing the net control station whenever possible. Your net control station this afternoon is November 1, Alpha, November, Delta. My name is Doug, and I'm in Munson, Massachusetts. At this time, are there any stations holding emergency or priority traffic? Emergency or priority only, please call down. <laughs> Nothing heard. Net Control is now looking for our first region liaison station, Alpha Bravo 1 Tango Charlie. Paul, please call and list any traffic. This is Alpha Bravo 1 Tango Charlie, AB1TC, Paul, running battery power. Morning, uh, good afternoon, Doug. Um, at this time, there is no traffic for Western Mass. Back to net control. All right, thank you, Paul. Net Control is now looking for any stations holding traffic or announcements. Traffic or announcements only. Please call now. Okay, nothing heard. Net Control is now looking for any stations wishing to check into the Western Mass Traffic Net with or without traffic. All are welcome and encouraged to participate. Please call now. This is Kilo Bravo 2, Romeo Sierra Kilo, Jim, Fort Play, New York. Over. This is Kilo Bravo 1, Zulu November Yankee, that is KB1, ZNY, Bill, Lancaster, Massachusetts, running commercial power, no traffic, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Bill. N1NHT. Good afternoon, Jason. 
KC1DAX, good afternoon, Dave. A word after the net, please. N2JNT, good afternoon, Jack. And KC1DKS, I believe you said it was Jeff. And KB2RSK, what was your power source? I didn't get it, Jim. Sorry, uh, Jack. Uh, portable power. We're on portable this morning. Over. Okay, Jim, thank you. All right, uh, the Cranky Pirate is not here with uh, announcements, so I'll make a couple that I know off the top of my head. First and third Mondays of the month, on this repeater, 7.30 p.m., the Newcomers Roundtable, uh, an informal chat uh, for newly licensed and newly upgraded hams, and anyone else, old-timers uh, included as well, just an in informal Q&A session or anything you feel like talking about. And also, uh, Skywarn Spotter Training Session will be in Cummington, Mass. at the Cummington Town Hall on April 28th, Tuesday, 7 to 10 p.m. I don't believe pre-registration is necessary for that. And let me see here, I believe... If I can go back to Nobark, the next Nobark meeting, come on, computer, <laughs> the next Nobark meeting is uh, April, I think it's April 26th, but I can't get this computer to scroll. Oh, there we go. April 26th at 2 p.m. in the afternoon at Fairview Hospital in Great Barrington, so. That's the next meeting there. Are there any other stations wishing to check into the Western Mass Traffic Net? Please call now. Yes, there is. This is. This is November 2, Victor Uniform, N2, VU, Donald, in Queensbury, New York. Commercial power, battery backup, no traffic. Good afternoon to everybody. K1, F, F, K. Okay, net recognizes and what? And to VU, good afternoon to you, Donald. Okay, last call for any stations. Everybody must be enjoying the, the wonderful weather. 62 degrees here in beautiful downtown Munson. It's kind of gray out there, but it did stop raining. Uh, hope it's clearing up where you are. One last call for any stations wishing to check into the Western Mass traffic. That before I close, please call now. Okay, nothing heard. With that, this closes the Western Mass Traffic Net. I'd like to thank the Northern Berkshire Amateur Radio Club for the use of the Mount Greylock K1FFK146.91 repeater. And one, one last announcement I just happened to think of tonight at 7.30 is the Mount Tom uh, meeting, the MTARA meeting, which will be at the Red Cross building on... Um, uh, Brookdale Street, off Cottage Street in Springfield. So if anybody's down this way would like to go to that, should be interesting. Going to have some films there. Okay, the time is now 13 hours and 9 minutes. I now return the repeater back to normal amateur radio use. Thank you to all the stations who checked in and those who stood by while the net was being conducted. This is November 1, Alpha, November Delta. Doug and Munson now signing clear. 7-3. Have a nice weekend, everybody. N1AND, KC1DAX. Yeah, Dave, I was just wondering, are you, uh, are you going to the Mount Tom meeting tonight? Uh, no, Doug. In fact, I wish I'd uh, remembered that it uh, was this Friday, but uh, last night we made uh, plans with my oldest daughter to have dinner up at her house tonight, so uh, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to make this one. Uh, yeah, well, are you looking for a ride? Uh, maybe Rich can take you or something? Over. So, 
Well, Rich and I are going. I just wondered if you were going to be there. Um, they have uh, they have some films on. I don't I don't know if I don't know if the man is going to be there. Hang on a second here. Let me uh, let me get this on the computer. They got uh, a a fellow was in broadcasting uh, for many many years. Forty three years, I believe it was. He worked for various. Uh, uh, television stations and so forth. Let me see if I can get this up. I gotta get like Obi. Got two or three computers going at once here, so. <laughs> Don't have to wait. Yeah, Arthur Donahue. He's W one A W X. Kind of. Uh, he's a he's a big uh, uh, he's a big uh, fan of Hiram Maxim, who started the ARRL, who was W one A W. He's got to call W one A W X, and uh, it, there's going to be uh, a bunch of films that he took. He was into uh, filming, uh, running cameras for the. Uh, TV stations, and he's got uh, a field day, a 1985 field day in Hartford, um, uh, in uh, ARRL films, and some stuff about uh, Mount Greylock, and uh, and then WCVB TV Five Boston, 100 years of New England radio show. It's going to be pretty interesting. So anyway, but you're not going to make it. That's all right. We'll make you. We'll see you at the next one. Yeah, Rich and I are going to go. Uh, N1 AND, KC1 DS. speak Vietnamese because you're afraid other people might laugh at you or simply because you just don't know how? Hey, I'm just like you. My name is Donna Va and I've been taking some Vietnamese classes. So let's go on a learning journey together right here on I Love Kim Viet. Joy ơi! Now how many of you have heard of this Vietnamese phrase? Most I'm sure. I mean, even some of my non-Vietnamese friends know how to say it and they didn't learn it from me. But although you may know how to say it, you may not know all the different ways you can use it, or the best way. So this episode is about those two simple words, jai ai. Before you can really put the phrase to use, it might be good to know what it means. The first word, jai, means heaven. The second word, ai, is a term of endearment that you can usually add at the end of the name. Like, au lak ai. Get it? So jai ai literally means dear heavens or oh heavens. Not so literally speaking, Jai Ai is equivalent to, oh my gosh, in English. So when and how should you use the phrase Jai Ai? Well, think of all the moments that you would use, oh my gosh. Give it a Vietnamese spin and say Jai Ai, with a different tone emphasis, depending on the situation. Pretty easy, right? For example, if your sister keeps borrowing your clothes, making you totally frustrated, then you can say it like this, Jai Ai, or if your friend just told you she got into a car accident, then you can say, Joy I? Or you can even use it with your parents. Let's say your mom keeps nagging you about washing dishes. Then you can say it like this, Joy I? Okay, maybe not such a good idea, but the best time to use it is when someone does something really silly, like Joy I? Joy I is a pretty useful phrase to know, don't you think? Now, do you remember all the different kinds of situations you can use it for? Like, Jai Ai, when you're frustrated. Jai Ai, when you're being sympathetic. And Jai Ai, when someone does something really silly. Just remember, Jai Ai is similar to, oh my gosh, in English. I hope you guys learned some new ways to say Jai Ai today. But use it for good, not evil. Oh, and don't forget to let me know what you think right down below in the comment area. 
I know it may take a couple minutes, but try, uh, just do it. Go then, okay? I am Donna Voss, and thank you for watching I Love Being Viet. Remember to check back often on www.owlookeye.com for brand new episodes. Thank you. See you next time. Don't speak Vietnamese because you're afraid other people might laugh at you or simply because you just don't know how. Hey, I'm just like you. My name is Donna Va and I've been taking some Vietnamese classes. So let's go on a learning journey together right here on I Love Being Viet. Oh, it's